Jamar Jefferson is a running back that attended Oregon State and was drafted by the Detroit Lions in the seventh round at pick 257. Jefferson is a really good example of why the RAS sheet doesn't explain everything about a player and is an outlier in this Lions draft when it comes to measured athleticism. Oregon State in the fourth quarter has gone ahead just like that. He is a downhill zone runner with a great knack for processing a play quickly, hitting the hole, and having the ability to score with home run top speed. Some running backs are super athletic and have a variety of moves like jukes or spins to make defenders miss. While this is super exciting to watch, in the background behind these flashy star running backs are some that use elite vision along with a reliable offensive line to get from point A to point B in the least amount of cuts or moves as possible. They have an ability to process the blocks in front of them patiently, build up momentum, and if they reach the secondary, their top speed can take them all the way in for a touchdown on any given run. A lot of the measurements on Jefferson don't reflect what is seen on his tape. His 4-6-40 time, for instance, doesn't dull the high number of runs he has seen hitting the secondary and making his way to the end zone without getting touched. He is quickly finding the straightest line to the end zone in his mind and guns it. Some players on this Lions team also have another thing in common, from Jared Goff to Amon Ra St. Brown. They come in with a chip on their shoulder with something to prove. Jamar Jefferson is no different, saying in a post-draft interview, I've been in this position before. All my life I've been underrated. Just know the Detroit Lions are getting everything out of me. Everything. With Kerryon Johnson on his way to Philadelphia, Jamar could expect to see some snaps this year to prove just how ready he is to show his worth, and I have high hopes with him behind this revamped offensive line. My NFL comparison is a bit different in terms of weight, but seen side by side have that same familiar downhill, one cut running style. He's Jordan Howard, drafted by the Chicago Bears in the fifth round in 2016, now playing for the Philadelphia Eagles. Both players similarly play with great pad level and a low center of gravity. Not the best at breaking every tackle, but absorb hits and often fall forward. In one draft profile of Howard, the similarities continue as they mention Howard's vision at the line of scrimmage is pro-ready as he almost always recognizes the proper gap immediately and gets north. On zone runs, Howard does a terrific job of directing his hips quickly, finding his aiming point and working off blocks. These are intelligent runners who read the defense like a book quickly hit the hole they need to and are dangerous when hitting the secondary. There are athletic limits that can be surpassed with great blocking up front. As important as it will be for assistant head coach slash running backs coach Deuce Staley to mentor and shape Jamar Jefferson into the NFL running back he'll end up being, Hank Fraley and the Lions offensive line will also have to mesh and provide the lanes. If these two groups can mesh, not only will DeAndre Swift, Jamal Williams, and all other running backs this year benefit, but Goff will have a much easier time with a multifaceted offense that can strike through both air and ground. They just don't want to do anything dumb. Howard with a great gain and a first down. 
Thanks for watching this breakdown and comparison. The last one should be out soon and will feature the first round pick, offensive tackle Panay Sewell. I appreciate you sticking around until the end of the series and can't wait to get started on player evaluations, UDFA breakdowns, Lions news, and more. Keep sipping that Kool-Aid, and I'll see you guys in the last episode.